Sir TV, and thank you so much for joining us. So you've just taken oaths. Tell us about your priorities. First of all, uh, I would like to thank my leader, my guru, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal, for giving uh, this youngster such a big uh, responsibility and such a big opportunity to voice uh, the concerns of the people of India in the supreme panchayat that is the Indian Parliament. I also thank my elder brother and the Honorable Chief Minister of Punjab, Mr. Bhagwant Man, for nominating me to Rajya Sabha. Uh, this truly can happen only in the Ahmadni Party that a young person, all of 33, uh, coming from uh, you know an average middle class household, is given such a big responsibility at such a young age. I don't have media power, muscle power or money power and yet my party has given me such a big responsibility. This shows that the Kejriwal School of Politics is reshaping the political landscape of India and young people, young India is being given opportunity to come at the forefront of national politics. As far as my priorities are concerned, uh, raising fundamental issues that concern the day-to-day -day lives of people of Punjab, people of India is going to be my priority. It is going to be my priority to make the voices, the feeble voices of those who are downtrodden, those who have been suppressed and oppressed be heard in the Indian Parliament and reach the ears of those uh, that control the levers of power in India. And I just pray to God that God gives me the strength uh, and the and the ability to, uh, you know, uh, to tread on this path, to start a new chapter of my life, my parliamentary career with, uh, you know, integrity, uprightness and honesty. All right, before I sign off, Mr. Chatha, as you said, youngest member of the upper house till date, how much of an added responsibility is that? I, I mean, I've been told I'm the youngest uh, member of the Rajya Sabha ever. I just hope that people in the Rajya Sabha take me seriously and don't, uh, you know, uh, uh, don't brush my remarks under the carpet thinking that he's a young boy, he doesn't know anything. <laughs> but on a serious note, um, this of course is, uh, as I said, can only happen uh, in Arvind Kejriwal's party. It is only him that he can, you know, who has the the willpower, the courage, and the and the belief in young India and young, dedicated, committed youngsters. And quite frankly, he may have nominated me, and uh, you know, at such a young age. But by this nomination, I think uh, the message that goes out loud and clear is that Arvind Kejriwal ji is the uh, next generation leader, the 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 leader that young India looks up to, and he is perhaps the only leader in India that could give representation to, you know, uh, the young India to come at the forefront of national politics. I'll try to be, uh, you know, I tr I'll try to make mature remarks in the house so that uh, they don't, they don't, uh, you know, kind of uh, uh, write me off as an immature young boy who doesn't know anything. So I'll try to play a serious role. And quite frankly, um, I, I do understand that there are a lot of expectations that people, my colleagues, my party, uh, the people of Punjab, people of India have. Uh, from the Aam Aadmi Party and the representatives of the Aam Aadmi Party in the upper house like myself. And I just pray to God that I am able to fulfill those responsibilities. All the best for all your endeavours.